Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna brew up some coffee. We're gonna make some egg coffee, not the super sweet actual egg on top Vietnamese egg coffee, but Scandinavian egg coffee because we're gonna house it, a new location for us. My favorite way to make coffee is the French press, but there's no French press here. Oh. There's no mocha pot. Oh. This is a super simple stovetop egg coffee. You wanna take a bowl and an egg and <gasps> drop it in there and then just crack your egg up. And I'm making a big pot of coffee, but I've got here for 32 ounces of water, I put eight tablespoons of coffee here. Wow. Boom, boom, boom. Strong. So you want to take your coffee and pour it on your egg. With the shell? Isn't that very exciting? Yeah, the shell, the yolk, everything. So now we're just going to mash it up. Wow. If you're used to getting it from a coffee shop, this is a little bizarre, you know. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't look very uh, appetizing. What we're going to make here is kind of a goo kind of a paste and this egg and yolk might not be enough to make it as gooey and pasty as you want. So we're going to go ahead and add in just a wee little bit of water just to help us make it a little more gooey to get it all mixed together. And this shell is going to help remove some of the bitterness out of the coffee when we brew it. And the yolk is going to help hold the coffee together. And then that's going to make it easy for us to separate the actual coffee from the grounds after we brewed it up. So now we've got our coffee and egg goo all together. I got my pot of water and brought it up to a boil. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and let it sit for a minute. Let this water cool down for one minute. That way the water isn't going to be as hot when I put my coffee grounds in there. Does that help with the bitterness as well? No, but you don't want to... It's just like a, it. when you're making a French press coffee. You don't want to use boiling hot water. Although I am going to bring it up to a bubble once I put the coffee in there. So it's going to be a little hotter than usual, but you know, we got to cook that egg, dude. Alrighty, so it's been about a minute. So now I'm going to go ahead and dump my coffee in here. My coffee and egg combo. And then I'm going to turn the heat back on and uh, just leave it alone for a minute before I stir it up. Let that egg kind of solidify a little bit in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and stir it up a little bit here. And you can see how everything kind of stays kind of chunky. I don't think you want to talk about chunky with your coffee. Uh, actually, you do want to talk about chunky in this here because the chunkiness is what, what's going to make it easy to separate the grounds from your actual coffee. That makes sense. It does seem very funny to see eggshells in your coffee. Yeah, but I sort of remember when I was a kid, I think uh, my mother used to put eggshells in her coffee when she would brew it. Not the entire egg, but just the eggshells. People would use that to remove the bitterness from the coffee. But anyway, I've raised the temperature back up a little bit. And now I'm just going to let it sit. I've turned it off again, and I'm going to let it sit for about three minutes. Not too long. I'm going to treat it almost like a French press. So it's been just over three minutes. Our coffee's all clumped up, been sitting here in this gooey mess. So now I'm going to take my pot o mess. So I do kind of like a double strain, and I kind of pour it. Boom, 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 and I hold most of the grounds back. And since they're clumped together, you know, most of that coffee is going to stay in your pot. So I'm giving it kind of a, uh, a very loose strain here. Yummy. But look at that. Most of the grounds stayed in there. Almost all of the grounds. And look at that big horrible mess. <laughs> but we're just going to set this aside. And now I'm going to pour my coffee into my coffee pot. But I'm going to do a double strain here just so I can catch any more coffee grounds that I missed. See, there's one little clump right there that got through. But look how uh, clear that coffee is going in here. So most of the coffee gets caught up in that egg. So if you don't have a brewing system for making coffee, if you just want to make coffee on the stove top, this is a very functional and tasty way to do it. So I had given it kind of a loose strain out of that bowl and then that was all that I missed. So now we've got a pot oh hot Scandinavian style egg coffee. Yes! Alrighty, well I'm going to drink this out of a jar so that you can see what it looks like clear. <laughs> Alrighty. We'll give a little taste test here. Although this is hotter than I like to drink my coffee. really good you know it, it doesn't taste eggy at all egg you would never think that an egg had anything to do with this it's so smooth you know but we use good coffee anyway but if you have crappy coffee 
you know, I think it, I think that eggshell will smooth it out. And to be clear, when you say we use good coffee, we just don't use <sighs> crap. Chef Buck, he finds a few brands that when it's on sale, he decides he likes. <laughs> that's it. If it's on sale, that's what I like. And I'm one of those terrible people that puts a little bit of cream in her coffee. Uh, or a lot of cream. Or a lot of cream. I might have to add some actual coffee to this. That's it. Use what you got on hand, That's huh? right. I got to cut down on the dishes I got to wash. There you have it. Boom, some Scandinavian egg coffee. You can make it in a pot on the stove. If you have guests over or, you know, uh, young children, you're trying to introduce them to coffee at an egg on the egg. What? Yeah. Make up some egg coffee. But we've got some other uh, ways to make coffee in our coffee playlist, and I'll have that linked, so check it out. Go to myfoodchannel.com to check out all our recipes and sign up for our mailing list over there. Try some uh, Scandinavian egg coffee, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye. Can I drink some coffee yeah, now? you can drink some coffee. Thank you.